Hey, what's up, guys? It's uh, Pete. We're inside Marv. We got K to the A, Kate Auger. And Bo. And uh, we just had uh, wanted to fill you in on what went down today. We'll give you uh, some, the details in a second, but briefly, uh, eight of us total got arrested today. And uh, everybody's out except for two people, Adamo Freeman and Wes Gilreath. Um, they're both uh, were transported to Valley Street Jail. And uh, they're going to be arraigned, as far as I know, on Monday morning. It was a day, I think, where everyone was had a, started with a lot of good intentions and had no idea that it would come out with eight arrests and a bunch of cameras stolen. We had a rally outside the Manchester PD today because uh, a few weeks ago they shot and killed a man uh, in his house during a three-day siege. And it doesn't seem like all the, the official story is, uh, is accurate. So uh, a demo who again is behind bars right now, he actually covered that story a couple days ago. He talked to the neighbors and found out, you know, uh, that it sounds like the situation sh shouldn't have ended how it did. And then a week later after that, there were some uh, off-duty cops at a bar, Strange Brew, that, that brutalized and assaulted a man and uh, have essentially uh, not faced any accountability for that. So, so at 4 p.m. we went out at Manch PD. We had a lot of signs and, uh, you know, activists just kept coming in. And uh, we were having a good impact, I think, uh, talking to people as they walked by. They've been beating some shootings by the MPD. Oh, they just out of, they're out of control in this city. Oh, definitely. Would you like a real Absolutely. Thank you. Watch this around town. I will. You keep an eye on those guys. Somebody's got to keep them in check. We're I'm telling recording. you that much right now. Woo! Woo! Yeah. 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 There was, uh, I would say, upwards of 40 activists total. But we were drawing chalk messages on sidewalks and walls and easily washable. A few uh, individuals wearing Manchester PD badges who came out and were engaging with activists and we were trying to uh, inform them why we were there. Uh, they, uh, I guess, very aggressively approached Wes at one point and threatened him with arrest for uh, disorderly if he did not stop chalking. And uh, eventually they later acted on those threats. Don't go away, sir. That's a lot more. Trespassing on private property. This is not. This is not. This is public property. Yeah. It's paid for by stolen money. By so how could we possibly be trespassing? I'm on asking you, please, property. to leave. Just go outside. Why don't you go outside? Why don't you quit your job? No, because I like working. You like busting? You like no, I like having a job. I like being employed. But you, what you, could, you could get a job that doesn't harm these people. I'm not harming anybody right now. You're, you're just threatening us. And you're I'm threatening not threatening you. Do you think you want it to do? Well, I'm going to stay and hold these guys. 
know it's not one a day. I'm asking you to leave. You can ask all you want. Sir, please leave. This is a public space, sir. Okay, please leave. Can you, can you cite is this a lawful order? Whatever, yes, I'm uh, giving you a lawful order. Please leave. You, uh, Thank you. Do you even have authority to Excuse push me. us around? Excuse me. Thank you. Hey, listen. Everybody who's going to be blocking our door, I'm sure you know this, is obstructing passage to the entryway, so you can be arrested for it. So, it's your choice. There's a lot of room in there. Can we just stand to the listen. side? Okay, come on, come with me. I'm not. All right, then leave. This is your last chance. Leave? Oh, you're going to be arrested. There's somebody in front of me. I'm moving. I'm moving. Everybody but my question is... Nope, not right now. Do you honestly believe that I was where I was standing obstructing anybody? On the way to the doorway, you're going to be arrested. Hey, I know some people that are victims of crime. Uh, yeah, where can they go for help? Yeah. They're threatening to confiscate cameras right now. They're saying this was evidence of a crime. So why is evidence this could be possibly visible? I I would like it not be submitted as evidence. That's my property, and I have a right to decide what happens. I really feel that this is a violation of civil rights. Okay, you want to give me your name? Well, I'd like to receive my phone back. Can I give you my name to receive my phone back? How else do I receive my phone? Sir, I'd like to receive my phone back. I'll give you my name. Sir, do you want to provide your name? Am I being detained? Yes, you are. For what? For what? Now you have evidence. We're not playing this game, man. We're not. I'll be happy to give you my name, actually. I'll give you my business card. I'm not parking up. You're not taking my camera, dude. This is my property. I have not hurt anybody today. I have not hurt anybody today. Am I free to go? Am I free to go? Am I free to go? No. Why? Why? And what does that constitute? Too bad to decide you got What have I done today that, that you have the right to, to restrict my freedom? Of Bo, did they give you repeat receipts for your no, property? No, I actually still haven't received anything on that. And I'd still like to file a complaint if possible. Oh, absolutely. You're talking to the wrong person about that. Well, I, I talked to, I think, probably your superior or whatever, mm -hmm. um, and he said that I couldn't do it to you. Oh, I, don't, I don't know about that. But. What's your name again, by the way? Jojo? How do you pronounce it? Just like Jojo. Person. Jojo? Cool. Yeah. Cool. Alright, so... I just... I want to go in there and know that I'm going to come back out successfully made a you know a complaint. I don't know what they, I don't know what they told you, so I don't want to I don't want to give you bad bad advice. They arrested Mike Siegel, uh, Neil Connor. They then went inside for a little while, and a WMUR truck drove by, and someone flagged them down. They uh, came. Out. A number of us talked to them. Another activist that was there who later got arrested next to me. Uh, he told me that he then heard uh, some police officers uh, nearby say. Let's wait till arrest them until she leaves, and she being the reporter. I showed up at, like before the interview started, and I was watching them, and people were holding signs, and chalk was already written everywhere. And I noticed <clears throat> about 10 officers walk out of the building and stand around on the side. So I walked over there to see what they were doing, and I was filming with my iPod, and they stood in, like, a semicircle around me and then one of the officers stepped forward and told me that I needed to move because I was interfering with evidence. Apparently I was standing on some chalk that they wanted to take a picture of and I said I have a question. I was gonna ask how writing chalk on the sidewalk is a crime in the first place and he said I don't have time for your questions and then said I was being arrested and grabbed me by the arm and threw me to the ground. A lot of us were up the street. You know, we heard Kate and we and we went down there and, uh, you know, there was a, three cops at least uh, using physical force, pinning her to the ground, and she was asking what was going on. What happened? Who she hurt, guys? I was standing on the truck. 
I was inquiring who initiated the arrest, trying to get someone to be culpable for their actions, you know, and and uh, no one would admit to it. And uh, soon enough, they walked her away. And as soon as they did that, I mean, they got to a point where they saw the rest of us too, and um, we're standing while they're they're trying to take all these photographs, like like uh, Kate was saying of the, you know, the chalkings. They started coming our way. They just got in the line, came around the corner, and walked north on the street. And, you know, it almost felt like a mini sort of G20 thing where the, all the cops were in a line. Obviously, they didn't have their shields out and, and things like that and the, and the LRAD, but they just got in a line on the sidewalk, and they're like, keep walking, keep walking, keep walking. You know, we kept asking, well, where's the line? How far do we have to go back? And, you know, the guy's like, the line is where I says it is, you know? And uh, I was like, doesn't that just show how arbitrary this all is? You know, so eventually we got back, you know, asking questions, talking along the way. We got back to a point uh, north of where the last graffiti was, you know, a good 10 or 20 feet north. And we were standing there having a conversation with some of these guys that had uh, Manchester PD badges on. And then all of a sudden their colleagues from across the street said, arrest them. And all of a sudden, next thing I know, I'm getting arrested. Dude, Charlie next to me, he's getting arrested. And, uh, you know, I'm like, what is going on? We're having a conversation here. Like, it was a it was a mutual conversation the whole time, you know, for the past two, three hours we'd been out on the street. And there they go right now. The past two or three hours they've been out on the street. We'd all been having conversations with them and trying to communicate to them on an individual level. We were the peaceful ones in this matter. And, and we, we so we have a clear conscience. And I know when I sat up there and I was talking to some of these cops, they, they wouldn't look you in the eye. Their excuses. I was just following orders. Everyone uh, was given a court date of June 23rd, which is in the middle of Pork Fest, which sucks. If you're in the Manch area within driving distance, Monday morning, uh, a demo in West should be arraigned here at uh, District Court. They need to be held accountable for their actions. A lot of respect to everybody who was there today. I definitely think we impacted them. Yeah. yeah. If you're working for one of these law enforcement agencies, think about what you're doing. Think about the implications of your actions. I mean, you may be a good person, and you may have good work ethic and have good skills, so why, why, why not allow someone to voluntarily contract you to provide that profession and not force them to, to pay for you to do it at the barrel of a gun? This institution you're working for has all these perverse incentives where you, you hurt peaceful people. You don't have market signals, so you, you grow the size and scope of your agency and hire more people and have more victimless offenses to arrest people for. When I was being processed, I heard one of the uh, guys with the Manchester PD ba badge on his shoulder on the phone talking about free staters. Yeah, the cop that arrested me once we were inside and they were fingerprinting me, he asked, how did you get involved with these people? <laughs> I believe in personal rights. You have no right to stop other people from living their lives as long as they're not harming anyone else. We all are responsible for our actions, whether we have a badge or not.